previously on Divorce Court. That he is. left her to get away from her. So I'm not gonna let my son be out in the street. Something happened to him, oh no, then I'm gonna look at her. He has a nasty attitude problem. Tell, what do you mean he has a nasty I mean, attitude? he gets mad at the kids to stay beefing with them. Yeah. He called them uh, uh, people on the street. Then if he gets an attitude for something I said or something I did, he'll run across the house and just knock all the pictures off the wall. Mr. Drew, are you cheating on her or are you not? <sighs> no, I ain't, I ain't got no reason to. If I was gonna do that, I did that a long time ago. Divorce court is now in session. We are reconvening the matter of Drew versus Drew. I adjourn this matter to regain my composure, Mrs. Drew. I'm going to start with you. You, you have five children, a 15-year marriage. It has been your contention that Mrs. Bell over there, Mr. Your, your husband's mother, has been setting his son up with women. And we brought Ms. Jeffrey here uh, to talk about it. So I got to figure out who's telling the truth. What are your beliefs with respect to what his mother is doing? Well, every time she has a job, she's always calling her son to the job. So I was wondering what was going on. And then when I would get back with him, and we on good terms now, he's telling me, oh, yeah, I was talking to this woman over there. And I said, well, why? Every time, it's a, every time your mother switch jobs, it's a new woman in place. So I knew that his mother was hooking him up with other women, because she don't want me in the picture. So anything to get me out the picture, and she knew she wasn't going to work. So she had to bring somebody else involved. OK, let, let, let me ask you this. Ms. Jeffrey, mm -hmm. how did you meet Mr. Drew? And truly, what is the nature of your relationship with him? I met him at a holiday party. As you know, my mom works with her. Mm -hmm. So his mom introduced us. Right. We met there. Uh, we talked. I had just moved down there at the time. So pretty much he said that he can show me around. I didn't know anybody down there. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, being as though I know her, she did express that she doesn't like her. And of course, it led to him telling me about the situations with him not wanting to be with her and everything like that. Right. But yes, we did, you know, go out, went out to eat, things like that. As for in a way, he's, sh he's showing me. Hang on, no, 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 stop, no. stop. I can run this thing, Mrs. Yes, Drew, and I'm going to run you right out of here if you don't stop. I came to a circus. Oh, you said, can I no. You got one more? Have you two gone out on dates? Yes, we have, okay. but... But, and you knew he was married? I did, I did. Oh. And if he were to ask you to take it to the next level, would you? No, absolutely Clearly. not. She, she was in another state. He was living with his mom. So, no, that wasn't the case at all. Okay. Mr. Drew, why don't you tell me what the nature of your relationship with Miss Jeffrey is? It was cool. She's amongst all of the people that I met at my mother's Christmas party. Mm -hmm. I met my, my, my homeboy why, I didn't... that I hang out with now. She mm -hmm. don't say nothing about him. Mm -hmm. He do security at her That's job. That's a guy. I'm not going to lie. Exactly. Miss, so, Mr. it's Drew, people Mr. that I meet. It's not just Mr. Female. Drew, I'm, I'm not going to lie, though. When she walked out of there, the look on your face, you were horrified. I'm like trying to figure out why she here. That's so all. So there's nothing else going on? Nothing else going on. Like I said, if I wanted to do something, first off, I'm going to be honest with you, I wouldn't be that sloppy. I'd go somewhere else. I wouldn't do it that close to home, knowing that everybody linked together. But you didn't know and I was stop, her stop. number. And I, as a mother, wouldn't allow it to take place yeah, in my right. presence. That's a now, lie. Yeah, right to you, because you're a cheater. Hey, hey, you you are a cheater. Mrs. Drew, you are a cheater. The Drew, proof is in the pudding, bitch. Sit Mrs. Drew down. Oh. Sit Mrs. Drew down. Oh! oh. Y'all not gonna be out of here? You are not gonna do nothing but sit there and be disrespectful as usual. As usual. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask everybody to relax. Okay? I want everybody to relax. Mr. Drew, I'm gonna go to you, and then Ms. Jeffrey, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Drew, what would you like to say, uh, sir? The whole thing is, you could be associated with somebody of the opposite sex and have no sexual feelings towards them. If that was the case, then half of the rappers in Atlanta would be in a relationship with her. Am I correct? That's what okay, you say? No, okay. I doubt it. I, we Ms. got picks. Ms. Jeffrey, let me ask you this. Ms. Jeffrey, don't, don't, oh, don't, she don't go she's gutter, too. Ms. Corporal. Stop it. Do you have feelings <laughs> for her? No, absolutely not. No. Not once, so if she... The, divorce, granted, two day, out, done, he asked you out. Your response would be what? Nothing would change. Mm -hmm. You know, the only thing that kind of mm -hmm. made this situation hectic is her calling me, being disrespectful. As you can mm -hmm. see, I came to a courtroom, mm -hmm. not a circus, if he stills being a clown. Exactly. So, oh, exactly. you know, instead of her calling me to question me, she's calling me to accuse me. That's a problem. I'm cordial. I give you the same respect you give me. When you disrespect me, all bets are off, and I'm gonna meet you at your level. Mm -hmm. So that's how that went. So how often do you two engage in conversations or, 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 or disputes? Oh, no, she hit me up one time. That's one and done for me. 
<laughs> so, so that is over. Yeah. That is over. Do you have a relationship with any of their children? No, uh-uh. No. Now, Mrs. Drew, Not gonna happen. honestly, just, just, just between mother to mother, mm -hmm. would you like your son to move on to Miss Jeffrey? Oh, I don't pick who my son falls in love with. Mm -hmm. I don't pick who, because if I did, she wouldn't have been my pick. Right. Okay? But, well, she, she, okay. she wouldn't have been my her. pick. Stop. Because from day one, she's been disrespectful. I mean, day one, her plan. I'm going to tell you, Yana, I found out they were getting married two days before they got married. You know how I found out? Her mother told my mother. That's how I found out that she was getting married. Kevin knew. I wanted him to travel the world. He was in the Navy. She knew he was in the Navy, too. That's why she wanted to get with him. Well, let me ask you this. Why are you blaming her for that? He's your son. He should have told you he was getting I, married. I, I understand that, but he knew not to come to me with that. He knew. He knew. I didn't... I, honestly, he knew not to come to me because I did not want to hear it. But to hear it from her mother... Yeah, okay. but you can't just blame him. Man, he's a grown man. And I didn't want grown, her to marry him. I, I didn't want talking, him to marry her. I am talking. If he's grown enough to pick his own wife, he's grown enough to get married, he should be grown enough to tell his mother what he's about to do without being uh -huh. afraid. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. So I you agree. can't blame I'm that on her. I'm not blaming That's her from, on that. I'm just saying I don't like her. I never wanted them to be married. What Bottom didn't line. you like her in the beginning? Why didn't she's, you like her in the beginning? She's she, always she been a disrespectful Stop hood it. rat, okay? <laughs> she was the one riding around the neighborhood, half-dressed, Always thinking she was the queen of everything. Oh, I got everybody's looking at me. I got it like that. You don't have a pot to pee in. Okay. Stop now, okay. faking. We're gonna end that conversation. Mrs. Drew, if you got can you act like you got some sense? Yes, you are. Please come on yes. back up. Yes. That's a lie. Now, why don't you respond to the accusations that you tipped off and got married to her son, didn't tell anybody? What was the complication that allowed or required that to happen. I don't know what was... Uh, Kevin, Kevin wants his mother, and his mother wants him. So it probably was he didn't want to tell her, give out, you know, the information and tell her, oh, I'm going to move on, Mom. Because that's what he should have done. I asked him to do that. He didn't do that. But at, at the wedding, she was there. She actually signed the I'm paperwork, be too. Him. So first I'm with my I'm mother, now I'm with her. Now who am I going to be with next? I don't know. That's a good stop. question, Kevin. She's just crazy. like everybody in your inbox. Everybody's on the steal your man challenge, just going around. I don't understand how you could be so confident, yet so intimidated by At the same time. Hey, 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 stop it. Stop it. Do you believe... Do you believe she's a good mother to their five children? She needs to discipline them. I mean, they get away with murder. You know, they... She, she, she tells people that, I don't want my grandchildren at my house, which is not the case. She doesn't want them at my house because they enjoy themselves around me. Mm -hmm. They can be children around me. No, that's a lie. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Well, what I'm going to spend the remainder of this session doing is talking about today forward, because we got to talk about the kids, because <sighs> they got to co-parent, and we got to get things done, and I got to get you off your feet. So, we're going to move forward. He went in the store and left his phone in the car. And this girl called and her picture pops up. So that's where I got the phone number from. But also in the phone is pictures of a little boy. So I want to know who is the little boy. Because it ain't my kids. My kids all look the same. This baby looks nothing like them. M M Mr. Drew, do you know what little boy uh, she's referring to? Now, Ms. Jeffrey, I'm going to give you the opportunity to sit down because you've been standing there for a little while. But I just, I, I want to ask you, is there something you want to say? Something, because it seems that you have something on your mind, and I just want to know exactly what's going on here. Yes, I want to figure out what is Kevin going to do. You know, we were going out, we were hanging out. He has been expressing to me he wanted to leave her, you know, based on what the mom was saying. Objection. And he was saying they Hang were in agreement to that. Respond. <laughs> And at this time, he needs to man up. We did go out. I heard him over talking me saying, as friends, we were going out. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I was aware he was a married man. So I, I wouldn't take you it any further. I said it again. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to let him just put throw sand over that line either. Why we were going business? out. Stop it. Oh. Mr. Drew, your response to that comment? Were you dating her, weren't no. you? No. I need a lawyer. <laughs> this ain't right. I need some type of legal counsel or something because. I they mean, lie. At, the, at the end of the day, he's a man. He's lying about not even wanting to divorce her, so of course he would lie about that. But Jasmine, he's not lying about not wanting to divorce. Y'all were y'all were friends. That, why are I you, put, why are you making house. it any 
Well, okay, I, I, I got, I got it. Me at my car. Oh my I, God! I, think about I, I, I got it. I got it, Miss Miss Jeff, Jeff. Go ahead and have a Thank seat. You. I think I know what's happening Can here. Can she sit over there? Yep. Just don't go over. Uh, right there. I'll we're all going to behave way. like Not we're adults. Problem. So oh it shouldn't God. be in a problem where Oof. she sits. So, Mr. Drew, you say. Nothing's going on. She's just a friend. Nah. And you're not dating anybody else. No, ma'am. You're not seeing any other women. No, ma'am. You've been separated, but you haven't touched nobody. You haven't kissed nobody. You haven't gone out with anybody. You just at home with your mom. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I get it. I, I get that that's your story. Mrs. Drew, you seem to set, want to have something to respond. What is it? Uh, when we was at the store one day, and he had took me to the store because the kids needed some food, so we, he took me to the grocery store. He went in the store and left his phone in the car. And this girl called, and her picture pops up. So that's where I got the phone number from. But also in the phone is pictures of a little boy. So I want to know who is the little boy. Because it ain't my kids. My kids all look the same. This baby looks nothing like them. M M Mr. Drew, do you know what little boy uh, she's referring to? It was a meme that I had on my phone. That's that all not, it was. That was clearly not a the meme. Picture, the picture actually had words on there saying something about how somebody's son looked old or something like that. It wasn't nothing relative Mr. to Drew, me. Mr. Drew, if eyes could burn, you'd have a hole in the back of your head. <laughs> Miss Jeffrey. <laughs> Do you care? Do you care to comment on that? He does have a picture of Bruh. my son now. It's being a screensaver. I'm not sure of that. Uh, yeah, I had my, my son move with me, so mm -hmm. of course I learned places exactly. where kids could go, the aquarium where he takes his kids when he has them. He and not even like take that, kids. Oh, he never had when my child. When she moved out, she took all the stuff in the middle of the night after I got into my car accident. Text me and told me that she moved to South Carolina. She's but you, been a she was telling me that South for South. a whole South. month. A whole month. So I'm texting her, telling her, well, I need to see my kids. I need to see my kids. Oh, we in South Carolina. It's too far to drive today. It's three hours away. It's four hours away. This, that, and that. But well, you're going to have to see him on the weekend. Turn out, it's her friends inboxing me. We talking. And I kind of find out she lived 30 minutes down the street from where we, where we live at. I got a six-bedroom house, Yana. They could have stayed with me. She right. talking about something, we going to a, a, a shelter for battered women. Who are you lying to? How you get in there, first off? And why would you take your kids to a shelter when I got a six-bedroom house? Okay. And well, let's, travel to South let's, Carolina let's talk to do about, it. Let's talk about the leaving and the situation with the children. My concern is kids should stay in kids' place. Kids should never be involved in the conflicts of their parents. So therefore, you should not be talking down about the other parent to your children so that they Does walk that up to happen? you. Does that happen? Would you date someone who's separated but not legally divorced? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mrs. Drew, we were talking about when you left and the situation with your children. Why don't you give me your version of that event? Because he said you kept them down the street and they could have been home the whole time. Mm-hmm. That's because he told he came in the house at five o'clock in the morning because we was arguing. He feel as though when we arguing, he could do whatever he want to do. That he's no longer my husband. That's personal. So though. he Stop. he comes in the house. It's five o'clock in the morning. I said, and I got up out my bed. I said one thing about this, Kevin. I ain't never been disrespected. I'm not about to start it now. Oh, You're Jesus. not going to disrespect me in my house. So it's either me or you. Because if you go. If you think you're going to be coming home at 5 o'clock in the morning, you might as well live by yourself. And I gave him that ultimatum. He said, oh, well, it's going to be you because I'm not leaving my house. He feels as though it's his house because his name is on the loan and my name is on the deed. So then he just feel like, okay, I own this house. So I said, okay, cool. And I left. I left. I packed up my stuff and I left and I got my Do you let him see the place. kids? He could have called me and asked me, but he did not call Judge, me. Judge, every not time, ask me, can every time she catch an attitude with me, the first thing she do is she slap on her bulletproof vest, which is all five of my kids, and she say, "Well, if you can't get along with me, or if you don't do what I say, you will exactly. never see your kids exactly. again. Exactly. You will never see your kids again." Yeah, yeah. Mrs. Drew, let me say this: You doing your children a disservice. 
children that have active, who have a father who wants to be active and involved have a right to have them in their lives and you got to make it easy for them. You have no right to make them fatherless. The girls are going to go out with the first guy they see because they don't have a dad at home that makes them feel like the princess. The dudes are just going to go wild and because they don't have when they're teenagers, they don't have a man in the house that does a little bit of this when they get a little gruff and angry because I know I've had six sons. I know when they get cra get crazy, I step back and my husband step forward. So mm -hmm. you don't have that right. And I want you to make, be very, very clear about that. You do not have the right to do that to your children. I don't care the way you like him or not. I don't care whether you like him or not. Now, Ms. Bell, you just dying to say something. I'm going to ask you one question, and I'm going to leave it go because I got to talk about this money. In your heart of hearts, you would like him to move on and to move on with her or someone else, or do you have no one in mind? I have no one in mind, but that's not my concern. My concern is, you know, if you... if. Kids should stay in kids' place. Kids should never be involved in the conflicts of their parents. So therefore, you should not be talking down about the other parent to your children so that they Does walk that up to happen? you. Does that happen? Yes. Yes. She, yes. She she wouldn't wouldn't at no yes. point, hey, hey, yes. hey, hey, hey. This is just a categorical statement. At no point in time should any parent say anything negative to their children about the other parent. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what's happening. You are destroying their foundation, their security, their need to have two stable parents, and you don't have that right. Neither one of you. I don't know if you're doing it or not, but I know you are. Because I, cause I, I know how you're... I can't even be around I, them to do Because I know how you're behaving here. No, I'm not my hey, 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 hey. Inappropriate, grossly incorrect, and don't let it happen again. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Is it better to stay married for the kids? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. So after 15 years, you guys have been together since you were 12, right? Five children. You're ending this marriage. You are seeking from him six thousand five hundred dollars, four thousand for a new car, seven hundred for a U-Haul, and eighteen hundred for a townhome what? deposit and rent. Can you explain to me the nature of your request? Because the day that we got into the argument where he had woke up, I mean, where I woke up and he came in the house at five o'clock in the morning, I gave him the ultimatum. The next day, he asked me for the keys back to the vehicle that I drive with the kids. With the kids, it was a minivan. He asked me to give him back his keys and leave. Okay, so I gave him back his keys. I had to go out and find me a new car. So I had to buy a new car. Then I turned around when I moved, had to uh, furnish my apartment. I had to get the, um, I had to move all my Choices furniture she made to the apartment. To, to the, the new apartment. Then on top of that, I had to pay for the security parts and the first month's rent. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I feel as though he should pay for that because I wouldn't have left if it wouldn't have happened. Can yeah. I? No, you can't. Because no, 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 no. no. She's not getting any money. Let me tell you why she's not getting any money. You over here, Miss Power Broker, the primary breadwinner and all of that. When mm. people separate, it's the breadwinner that has to pay the non-breadwinner the money to, to separate. You made the decision to move, so you moved, and that your that was your choice. That was your decision. You you bad. You making all that money. You spend it on what you need to spend it on. But I'm gonna tell you what. Church. Don't let me hear about you not letting that man see his kids. Mm -hmm. Don't let me hear you talking badly about that man, not just to him, but in front of him. You are dismantling them when you do that. You are destroying them when you do that. You're making them feel small and like nothing. And whatever damage you, you think you're doing to him, multiply it by 20, and that's what you're doing to your kids. Oh, and you so don't have yes. that right. Yes. There will be no recovery in this matter. Thank you. It is so ordinary. Try to be for effort. Kavisha says everybody's a homewrecker. She said his mom is a homewrecker. So whatever she has to say, she's crazy. She has problems, she's delusional, and the, the problem is bigger than me. So I'm not really worried about Kavisha. At the end of the day, there was no home to wreck. Neither one of them were staying in a home together, period. She was in a whole nother state. So she's just gonna be that person anyway.